In this video, we will integrate square root of x square plus a square. So, first of all, in order to integrate this function, we will suppose that x is equal to a tan theta. Then the differential dx is equal to the derivative of a tan theta, which is a sec square theta d theta. Then we will find the value of square root of x square plus a square which is square root of we will put the value of x which is a tan theta over here so we have a tan theta square plus a square under root then square root of a square tan square theta plus a square now we will take a square common so we have tan square theta plus 1 then tan square theta plus 1 is equal to sec square theta so we have a square root of a square sec square theta which is equal to a sec theta now we will find the value of tan theta from this Supposition so we have tan theta is equal to x upon a and from this equation which is x square square root of x square plus a square is equal to a sec theta we will find the value of sec theta which is square root of x square plus a square upon a so we will use these values So, first of all, we will write square root of x square plus a square dx. Now, we will put the value of square root of x square in terms of theta. So, we have integral of a sec theta and then the value of dx which is a sec square theta d theta. So, we have a sec square theta d theta. Now, integral of x square plus a square dx is equal to a square sec q theta d theta. Now we have to integrate sec q theta. So we will use integration by parts for the integration of sec q theta. So first of all we will consider integral of sec q theta equal to integral of sec theta and sec square theta and then we will let u is equal to sec theta and dv is equal to sec square theta d theta now the differential du is equal to the derivative of sec theta which is sec theta tan theta d theta and the integral of dv is v and the integral of sec square theta is tan theta now the formula of integration by part is integral of u dv is equal to u v minus integral of v du now we have integral of u the value of u is sec theta and dv is equal to sec square theta d theta is equal to uv so the value of u is sec theta tan theta minus integral of v which is tan theta and then du which is sec theta tan theta d theta Now after some simplification we have integral of sec q theta d theta is equal to sec theta tan theta minus integral of tan square theta sec theta d theta. 
then we know that tan square theta is equal to sec square theta minus 1 so we have integral of sec q theta d theta is equal to sec theta tan theta minus integral of sec square theta minus 1 times sec theta d theta now we have integral of sec q theta d theta is equal to sec theta tan theta minus integral of sec q theta d theta then plus integral of sec theta d theta now now we can take this integral on the other side of equation so we have integral of sec cube theta d theta plus integral of sec cube theta d theta is equal to sec theta tan theta plus integral of sec theta d theta now we can add these two integrals so we have integral of uh, 2 times integral of sec cube theta d theta is equal to sec theta tan theta plus integral of sec theta is ln of sec theta plus tan theta then we have plus c dash and then we have integral of sec cube theta d theta is equal to half of sec theta tan theta plus half of ln of sec theta plus tan theta plus c dash upon 2 now we have found the value of integral of sec cube theta so we will find now we will find the value of integral of x square plus a square dx which is equal to a square integral of sec cube theta d theta so we will put the value of integral of sec cube theta so we have half sec theta tan theta plus half ln sec theta plus tan theta plus c dash upon 2 now we will multiply this by a square so we have a square upon 2 sec theta tan theta plus a square upon 2 ln of sec theta tan, the, tan theta plus tan theta plus a square c dash upon 2 now we will put the value of sec theta and tan theta over here so we have a square upon 2 the value of sec theta is the square root of x square plus a square upon a and tan theta is x upon a plus a square upon 2 ln of sec theta is the square root of x square plus a square upon a plus x upon a plus a square c dash upon 2 now after simplifying we have a square upon 2 multiplied by x square root of x square minus a square upon a square plus a square upon 2 ln of x plus square root of x square plus a square upon a plus a square c dash upon 2 now we will use the property of ln which is ln of fraction is equal to ln of denominator minus ln of ln of numerator minus ln of denominator so we have now oh, sorry we can cancel a square and a square so we have x upon 2 square root of x square minus a square plus a square upon 2 
ln of x plus square root of x square plus a square minus ln of a plus a square c dash upon 2. Now we have x upon 2 square root of x square minus a square plus a square upon 2 ln of x plus a square root of x square plus a square minus a square upon 2 ln of a plus a square c dash upon 2. Now this whole thing is a constant so we will suppose that this whole thing is equal to c so we have x upon 2 square root of sorry this is plus x square plus a square plus a square upon 2 ln of x plus a square root of x square plus a square and then plus c where c is equal to minus a square upon 2 ln of a plus a square c dash upon 2 so this is the this is the required integral